just finishing up putting the liquid white on, making sure it's even. This one, I was looking for something with a really good sunset, really bright and colorful sunset. And I found this episode. But it's, it's funny, I think he didn't realize how much time was left or something, because like he spends all the time on the sky, and then in the last five minutes throws in the bottom. It still turns out amazing looking, but it's super, super rushed foreground on the episode. So, it looks amazing anyway, so let me just make sure we're even. Can I the brush I'll go right into? A little bit of yellow ochre. Okay, hang on a second. Whoa! Light that sky on fire. Holy moly. That's just Indian yellow? That looks like cat yellow. Wow. Yellow there. Once again, without creating the brush, I'm going to touch the bright red. Hang on, hang on. Good. I bought it a long time ago. Wasn't a big fan of the way it worked, but we're gonna try it for this one. Off the brush, just blend the base of that out a little bit. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Barely touching. Just caress the canvas a little. There we go. Something about my cat, and you can fluff it a little bit, blend it. There, an old cloud. Or Shoot, there's a big old cloud is just sitting right up there in the sky. Now then, we can take, let us use the blender because this blender is sort of unique. You can paint with it. I'm going to put at least a little touch of it.
I thought I had a good coating of liquid white, but it's the paint is like breaking and cracking, like not smooth. Like everything up here, it's was really really smooth, and up down here, it's having issues. So apparently, I still am not getting that liquid white on perfectly smooth. So I'm trying. Dang it! Just go with a little more lavender then, so that there's at least a layer of paint down here. Definitely feels like the canvas was just too dry down here. Like you can just feel it and you can see it. The, the paint doesn't smooth, it grabs the actual fabrics of the canvas. Super annoying that I still can't get that right, but, but uh, we're getting there. Every single painting is another learning experience and another, it's more practice. So eventually, eventually I'll, you know, I'll know exactly, okay, this is right, this is wrong. So like the next one I do, I'll know to put a little more liquid white, at least at the bottom, or, you know, that I just didn't have enough. I was a little bit short. I would do a couple of mountains, but I have one that's far away. This little mountain, he lives way back there, almost, almost to the edge of nowhere. There, just drop him off and drop him on. Let's grab a two-inch brush. Hang on. Touch and pull down. Remind me again why we don't just do the foothills like this every single time?
because that kind of seems way easy. comment from one of the people who viewed my videos and said they really appreciate somebody actually taking this serious because I guess there's a bunch of people like trying to paint like Bob Ross but they're I guess not taking it serious and they're it's not making a full effort I don't get that because this equipment and this oil paint stuff this is expensive so I have no idea how somebody could just fool around and not really make all the effort in the world to make something turn out really nice because unless you just got money to burn I guess but oil paint ain't exactly cheap and especially the Bob Ross brand I mean you can buy cheap oil paints but that was the very first mistake we ever made my wife and I painting with Bob Ross stuff is using cheap oil paints because they all have the same consistency and it's all like very very soft and that does not work with his style. His paints are super dry, and especially like the white paint is like extremely dry compared to your average uh, your average oil paint. So when you if you go to use it and you go to make clouds, if you're using his paint, you can fluff them and fluff them and fluff them, and they're barely going away. I'm going right over it with a two inch, and they're not moving. Whereas if you buy a cheap oil paint, it's super soft and it, it, you, we went to blend the clouds away and they just, they just smeared everywhere. It was just like, it was terrible looking. So the point is that this stuff is expensive, so I don't know, people who are, you know, they want to try to paint like Bob Ross, but then they joke around or they don't really make the effort. I don't get it because that seems like a waste of money. Like I paint, I, I try with every single one of these as if like this is the last attempt I'll ever have and get it right or go home. So I, I really, really, really try every single time to do the best I can with these. Because I mean really, it, it, if you Anytime I screw up and it's no good and just really it's not something I like, it ends up going in the trash. And that adds up fast as far as money. Like I've wasted a bunch of oil color, I've wasted a canvas, 
So just know that I'm never just screwing around when I'm trying. I, I am trying my hardest here. Let's see. Let's just come out like this. I'm gonna walk away before I destroy it. Let me get a shot of it. 